Hey, Brian with Workspace Admins here. Uh, today we'll switch gears a little and look at the DNS record for email authentication, which are SPF, DKIM, and DMARC. So SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. That's essentially the list of IP addresses and the services that you are authorizing, authorizing to send emails on behalf of your domain. So if you look at our DNS record here, workspaceadmins.org for TXT, you will see that we are authorizing Google and MailChimp to send emails. So if you are using MailChimp, one thing to note is that MailChimp no longer authenticates the emails using SPF. So this can be actually removed, but we'll leave it there for the time being. The other one is the DKIM, which stands for Domain Key Identified Mail, the Google dot underscore domain key space admin dot admin dot org. So that is the public key for our DKIM for Google or Gmail. So when you enable DKIM in Google, so Google signs the header with a private key, and then recipients will use the public key that's published on your DNS to uh, validate the authenticity of the messages. So if the messages do get automatically forwarded, uh, user will, users this uh, DKIM key will still survive. And that's how uh, DKIM will work. And then when SPF uh, authentication can potentially fail, when the messages are automatically forwarded because the IP addresses will change. So the last part is that the mark or underscore dmark.workspaceadmin.org. So that stands for Domain Mail Authentication Reporting and Conformance. So that is essentially a policy that tells the world what to do if the recipients receive messages that are spoofed. So messages that fail both SPF and, D SPF and DKIM. So in our case, we don't have a uh, DMARC policy just yet. So we are just Telling, asking the world to send us daily aggregate reports of the messages that are passing or failing the mark authentication. So today we'll primarily take a look at uh, setting up the mark when you have multiple domains. Uh, so that is relatively easy to set up. So we use Cloud DNS to manage our domain. So we'll take a first take a look at workspaceadmins.org. So DMARC record, it, this is where it's set. So that's the same value we looked at. So the other one here is, so we have a few other domains. So we have workspace admin singular.org. So we have a CNAME record here that points to uh, DMARC at workspaceadmins.org. So we can manage or centrally manage the DMARC from workspaceadmins.org rather than having to update it on each and every domain that we own. So we'll look go back to workspaceadmins.org here. So the second piece here is we have another TXC record that's uh, workspaceadmin.org dot underscore report dot underscore dmark dot workspaceadmins.org. That means that workspaceadmins.org is willing to receive dmark reports for workspaceadmin.org. So we'll just copy this value here. And the value is v equals d mark one. So we'll just have to do the same thing here for new domain that we just purchased, which is gws.wtf. So we'll go here. So it is a txt record. And I don't need workspace admins.org. So this will change to gws.wtf. So I'll just set it to one hour. Before record type, so it's, this is v equal to mark one. So let's put that. So I'll just double check the record here to make sure I didn't miss anything. I may have missed a semicolon at the end. Nope, that seems correct. And now I'll just go back to GWS, gwf.com. WTF and add another TXT record here or C name record here. Oops. Add record set. It is a C name mark at dot GWS dot WTF mark dot workspace admins dot org. Great. I didn't mean to do five minutes, so I'll just go back and change to one hour. And we'll just make sure that it's set properly. So g underscore dmark dot 
gws.wtf. So you can see here it is the C name, and this is the value of the workspace admin or DMARC record for workspace admins. So you can see that it's set properly. So we'll do a couple other things here. Uh, so we will do um, add another record here. So right now, I don't think we are planning on using this email or this domain for email. So I will really just, uh, just create a another TXT record or SPF record that prevents email from being sent. So I'll just do v equals SPF1. Oh. Warning, a record for domain has a white space, but is not a quoted string and therefore split into separate strings of white space. Okay, I'll just, oh yeah, I'll just edit this one here. We already have a TXT record. Add item, so I can get rid of the Microsoft domain very creation record. One. So that means I'm hard failing all the messages that are being sent from domain, this domain. I'll leave the Google TXT record as is. So we'll just look at it here. This domain takes a while to update. Nope, it's already there. So the other one that you can do is actually from Microsoft documentation. So subdomain became Office 365. So I can intentionally fail uh, DKIM as well. So we don't really have any um, concerns of um, bad actors spoofing uh, this domain, but we'll just do it anyway, just to show you what that looks like. So I'll add rec record set. So it should be asterisk dot underscore domain key dot gws dot wtf. And it is a txt record the equal to can one and I need to include this in double quote because I'm using a DNS key that so that's what I need to create and I keep forgetting that I am meaning to do one hour Oh, I didn't mean to do 60 hours. I'll do 60. Or I'll do one hour. Same here. I'll go back to one hour. The TXT record, I'll say it changes to one hour as well. We don't need to have it so short. A record, I'll leave it as is. TXD, NS, I don't need changing. WWW, uh, we don't need that. So let's see Google underscore dot underscore domain key. Yeah, so this will intentionally fail uh, the Kim as well. So now um, if somebody is trying to spoof the domain, it will fail both SPF and DKM. And while I'm here, I'll just uh, set up a DMARC reject policy. I don't think we are doing anything important uh, in terms of sending emails out. So I'll just add the DMARC record there. Oops, that's the wrong zone. Workspaceadmins.org, I'll update this. I'll just reject 100%, I can relax this later. So now if we look at dmark.workspaceadmins.org, so now we are rejecting 100% of the messages that fail uh, the authentic fail authentication. And same with workspaceadmin.org and gws.wtf. Okay, so I'll just show you what that looks like. So we have set up 
Azure or Microsoft Office 365. So I'll just go portal.office.com. And it's asking for my password for some reason. Okay. So I'll just open this in the incognito window. I'll just go to outlook.office.com. And I'll sign in with, waiting with my admin account. Okay, now I'll go to poll.office.com and rename my account to the domain. I will manage username. Just update this and I'll just put it on, on unfederate domain. Okay, now I'll just close incognito or I'll, I'll just close it incognito and sign in again. Outlook.office.com. WTF password. Copy, paste. So if I try to send a message, now everything will fail. So if I try to email myself, actually I need to set up a internal relay, which I haven't done that yet. So I'll just email my, one of my personal aliases. I'll just do info at briankim.ca. So this is getting rejected because it's failing DMARC. Sent items. So you can see here, unauthenticated email from GWSWTF is not accepted because of the DMARC policy. So if you wanted this to pass DMARC, you will have to update the SPF and DKIM so it'll pass the authentication. Hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel at Workspace Admins. And if you have any comments, uh, please uh, let us know. Thanks. Bye.